This is the Toby Eye Tracker, and I've been using it on and off with multiple games for the past couple of years, but is it worth it for flight simulators? What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, Blue, and if you don't know what the Toby Eye Tracker is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It tracks your eyes, but also it tracks your head movement to allow you to control the in-game cameras hands-free with your head alone. You look left, camera looks left. Move forward and the camera moves forward. Head tracking is extremely useful and in some cases essential, so I never fly without it. Thankfully, the Toby Eye Tracker is really easy to install and set up. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be using it. You just plug in the single USB and install the Toby Experience software and it runs through the entire setup process. I'm using a 43 inch TV as a gaming monitor right now and that has not been a problem at all for the head tracking or the eye tracking. So I mount the tracker on the bottom of my TV with the included magnet and that's it. Microsoft Flight Sim natively supports it now so all the settings can be adjusted in game, but for X Plane, P3D, DCS World, Star Citizen, etc., you can configure your settings using the Toby Gaming Hub, which is also fairly simple and easy to use. But you know what? It's better if I just show you. All right, I'm gonna put the shades on to show you guys that it does work with sunglasses or regular glasses. So we are in Microsoft Flight Sim. We're just finishing up pushing back now, and I am going to press the button that I set inside Microsoft Flight Sim uh, for my toggle for. Uh, Toby. Now, as you can see, a bit of a shake there. Now I have control. So I'm looking to the left. I'm looking to the right. Again, doing all this with my shades on, no hands, just looking around. I'm right, going to hit pause here and go into our control options. And in here, because Microsoft Flight Sim does natively support the Toby Eye Tracker now, we can go in here to make our changes. So if we go up here to where our controls are, and we go to the right side here just a few times, we'll see we have Toby and my profile is five. So if I go over to sensitivity now, we'll see all of the sensitivities of our head tracking. So right now I have eye tracking turned off, but I'm gonna turn that back on to show you what that does here in just a second. But right now I, uh, I want a little bit more head tracking position. Right now it's completely turned off. What this means is basically if I move forward or back, um, I actually get some some stuff. So we'll just put a little bit. You don't need much of that. We'll go with like maybe 50. We'll see if that does enough. We'll, we'll go with one. Let's just do one. Yeah, we'll do one. Uh, roll, we'll leave that at one. Center stabilization. Want a little bit more of this, I recommend turning this up because what that means is when you're just sitting there, you know, and you're not really necessarily trying to look in any direction, you want to make sure that you do have a nice stable vision as you're keeping your head steady. So if you make small adjustments or movements to your head, you're not like shaking everywhere. So if you just want more of a stable experience, turn up your center stabilization a little bit more. I'm gonna go over to the keyboard profile to show you really quickly uh, how to change the um, the ability to toggle on and off your head tracking. So here it is right here under uh, your keyboard or honestly any of your controls, but just go to the camera section, go to camera mode switches, and then you'll see right here, toggle head tracking, mine is set to right control page up. And then I have uh, my reset, where is it at? Here it is, reset home cockpit camera. That basically resets your head tracking or your head position to the center um, right here. So rest, reset head, cockpit, camera, right control page down. That's what I have it set to. Again, you can set those to something on your yoke. We can now go to eye tracking responsiveness. We can change this to whatever the default is, which I think is 50. And I'll hit done. We go back to apply, save, go back, resume. And now wherever I move my eyes to, the camera moves as well. If I look up at the top of edge of my screen, the camera goes up. If I look down at the bottom edge of my screen, the camera moves down. So, and the reason why I don't see this as helpful, I'm going to go ahead and start taxing and get out of this guy's way. The uh, reason I don't really see this helpful for pretty much any flight sim case is that whenever you're doing flight sim, you are constantly scanning the horizon and everything around you. As you can see, I'm doing now. And so you don't really want the camera to move around with you when you're doing that. Whenever I do this, I usually keep my head centered for the most part. I'm just kind of scanning, looking around as I'm taxiing, as I'm moving around the airport. Again, the airport is actually one of the most dangerous places for a plane to be. It's on the ground. 
at the airport, as we know. <laughs> and so what I like personally is to have head tracking on only, and I can still scan what I see with my eyes. Let's go ahead and turn it back off. All right, I've turned eye tracking off, although Toby is always tracking your eyes. So uh, as you can see here on the screen, you can still see where my eyes are looking, even with the shades on, which is pretty cool. So I'll turn them off or take my shades off, <laughs> turn off my shades. And uh, you can still see where my eyes are looking around in the cockpit as I'm scanning the uh, the area around me, but I'm actually moving the camera itself with my head again. And this is the way I prefer to play. I don't usually have the actual, what they call it, the Toby Ghost on the screen where you can see my eyes. I usually have that turned off, but I think that's that can be helpful for maybe um, for streamers or for people who are doing training. To, to teach people where to look and things like that. So you see I'm looking at that Airbus 320 out there now. Alright, we're up next after this uh, JetBlue ERJ. And uh, one thing I want to point out that I don't like about the Toby, and that is, it's there is a slight, slight delay before you see the camera movement and you actually move your head. I mean, it's super, super tiny. It's something that honestly, you, you know, you can kind of get used to and sort of ignore. Um, but, you know, me coming from other head tracking devices and VR, where the response is, you know, right on point, uh, it's, it's hard for me to overlook that, and I have to mention it. Alright, right, we're going to look up now and hit our landing lights, and we can actually lean over here and make sure our strobe lights are on as well. I'm getting this kind of bounced up and down. That happens to me as well. Not sure what's causing that. I might have to turn my sensitivity down a little bit, not get that little... A little jitter um, or I should say lack of stability there so uh, there's a person on the runway waiting for him to clear and we can go all right give it all the juice throttles full forward manual toga let's go got a queue lining up on our left side there all right we are rolling airspeed is alive there's 80 knots Oh yeah, I can feel the butt kicker kicking me right now. It feels amazing. This is so cool. All right, there it is. Reef one and rotates. Pull up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not getting any flight control. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> Reject. Oh boy, are we gonna make it? Oh, we're gonna use all this runway. Oh, there goes my mouse again. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Well, <laughs> we didn't get a, a takeoff there, but that's okay. I think you guys still get the point. Unlike Microsoft Flight Sim, some games are not natively supported. So in that case, like X-Plane 12 we have here, uh, we can actually go to the Toby Game Hub and we can go here and configure all of our settings. We can turn on and off the different rotations. So we have our head tracking settings, which we can turn on and off our head rotation, our head position, our uh, eye tracking setting. Again, I usually turn that off for Flight Sim. Uh, and so it's actually pretty detailed. I feel like I get even more uh options here than having it natively in the game like we have in microsoft flight sim so you can actually if you, i know a lot in flight sim you may not want to be able to lean forward and back or maybe even roll uh so you can actually just completely just turn off the ability to roll your head uh, which i think is completely fine so again changes to your preference however you like it you can change the curve so if you want to be more sensitive uh less sensitive if you want to be able to look farther to the left farther to the right all of that can be changed right here within the gaming hub. And the same thing with the eye control settings as well. Uh, down here, the control features, you can actually set your toggle switches. So mine is right control and page up because that's rarely used in most of my simulators. So that's what I use. Okay, aircraft is on and uh, we're getting a little bit of rain, which is no problem. Uh, clouds are nice and high. Got the, looks like the Toby tracker is working very well. I can actually hit the uh, control page down key is what I said to, to reset it to center. I can hit control page up, which is what I set for our toggle. So now I can freely look around without the tracker following me. Once I press that toggle key again, which you can set that to whatever you want it to be. Mine is set the control page up and that's good to go. So, all right, we got good. Let's go ahead and put throttle in. I'm holding the brakes. Oh yeah, I can feel the RPMs crank up in my butt kicker. Loving that. And let's try to hold center line best we can here as we take off off of runway 17 left here at David Wings. Hooks Airport in Houston, Texas, Northwest Texas. Still a little too slow for the lift off. There it is, 60 knots. Come on, keep that speed in, keep that speed in. There we go, and we're lifting up. Nose is coming up. We're gonna aim for that horizon. There we go. Got some trees ahead of us. We're going to roll to the left. Oh, and that's actually fairly smooth from what I can tell. 
I'm not sure if you guys are seeing any stutter yourself. I am still trying to fine-tune my X-Plane itself, so um, I would honestly not blame Toby for any uh, jitteriness we're getting, if anything at all. But so far, it's working pretty good. I can freely look to the left and to the right, make my clearing turns, uh, watch out for obstacles. I can also move up in my seat and look kind of around like that. I really like that. I think Toby and, and having head tracking is really, really great and important for, again, I keep saying situational awareness, but it's very important in aviation to know what's around you at all times. So that's why I think that honestly, when it comes to flight simulators, having a head tracking device is definitely essential in my opinion. So I bring the throttle back. A very, very tight pattern here. And again, I can feel the RPM slowing down on the butt kicker. It's pretty amazing. I right, drop some flaps down. Here we go. 1 6 gravel turning left base to uh, runway 1 7 left hooks. Flying over some newly developed homes now. But again, being able to, to look around, scan the horizon as you're flying hands free. You don't need to use anything on your joystick on your keyboard to look around you're just using your head naturally and, it, and I, at first it takes some time to get used to trust me because um, you're not used to using head tracking it takes some time to get used to but once you get used to it it's it honestly feels pretty natural you're like you're naturally looking around you're naturally scanning all right we're a little slow there flaps are in we're coming in for landing on one seven left let's roll out here a little bit of y a little y bring it in power 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 Power, power, power. And I'm realizing a little bit of the shakiness is actually coming from my physical body shaking from the effects of the butt kicker, which is crazy. All right, here we go over the numbers. Feeling the power. Set it down nice and softly blue. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That was firm. <laughs> that was nice and firm. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to X-Plane, guys. Okay, so my final thoughts, likes and dislikes. I like the quality of the tracking device. The software is great, setup is easy, customizable, works well in both dark and bright rooms, native support for Microsoft Flight Sim, and it works for all my other favorite flight sims. Stream Deck compatible, X camera compatible for X-Plane. It's mostly wireless except for just one USB cable and you don't have to wear anything on your head. So it does exactly what it's advertised to do. So I don't have many complaints, but what I don't like is the eye tracking is very distracting in most cases. So thankfully you can turn that off. Depending on your setup, the bottom of your monitor may be blocked by something. So you will have to use a tripod or something to raise it. If someone stands or walks behind you, Toby will track their face and freak the heck out. And there is an oh so slight delay in head movement, which is barely noticeable when flying low and slow or even flying airliners but if you're a fast mover and you need that super responsive pinpoint accuracy that slight delay can be a major issue for you and lastly it's not very budget friendly like don't get me wrong it doesn't feel cheap it's a great quality product but they're asking for a bit more than I personally expected considering you can get a low-end VR headset for just a little bit more but that being said Toby did give me a 20% discount to pass along to you guys which is a big deal so check it out in the description and make sure you take advantage of that if you are considering buying. Again, head tracking and flight sim is a game changer and in DCS, it's essential. But as always, let me know in the comments what do you think about Toby Eye Tracker and hopefully I was able to help you make your own educated decision. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time in the next video.